Hello and welcome. Today is March 8th, 2020. And before we get started, please go down and subscribe as well as hit that notification button to get notified when new videos come out. I will be live streaming this coming Tuesday for the next primary, so go check that out and let's get started. So today I'm doing a prediction on the upcoming March 10th primaries. I uploaded on my Twitter page a bunch of uh, areas where you could vote in different states like Michigan, Washington, Washington, and so on, what you think will happen. So I'll leave that link below, so go vote on that. So let's follow me on Twitter. So I... If you've not heard yet, it's come down to basically a two-way race between Biden and Sanders. Gabbard's still in the race, but she really doesn't have that much of a chance. She's currently at two delegates. Warren, Buttigieg, Bloomberg, and Klobuchar are out of the race. I just have them on because they have some delegates. So our first state we're going to look at is Michigan, where it shows Biden has a slight edge over Sanders, um, with 51% of the vote average. And uh, the thing with Michigan, it's historically bad at polling. It showed Clinton getting a blowout victory there. The thing is, with Michigan, there's a lot of union workers there, a lot of union support for Sanders, and I believe it will go to him once again, even though um, Biden has gotten a lot of support behind him with all these recent endorsements. I think he'll get about 65 delegates to about 60. It'll be very, very close. Upcoming next, Washington. This is historically a progressive Democratic state, which it shows Sanders uh, leads very narrowly. I don't think it's going to be that narrow. Um, I think a lot of polling after um, uh, Biden performing well in Super Tuesday is boosting him in the polls, but I don't think it's as big as it it's showing. I still think Sanders is in the race. So in in uh, Washington, I think it's going to be a pretty big win for Sanders, or maybe not that much. He'll get about 51 delegates to 38. In Missouri, Biden leads there pretty heavily. I think it'll be slightly closer in... Uh, one poll, it has a lot of undecided, so I think there's still room for Sanders, but I still think Biden will win this state, probably getting about 38 delegates to 30 for Sanders. Next up, Mississippi, also favored for Biden. I would agree with this. Um, I think Biden will get probably about 58 to 62 percent of the vote there, and that will push him to get about 24 delegates to 12 for Sanders. In Idaho, I don't think it's a tie there. Um, Sanders won this day in 2016 to, um, in a two-way race. Pretty progressive um, for the Democrats there. I don't think that uh, Biden really would have a chance of winning it. I think Sanders will get about 13 to 12 delegates there. I'm going to give him 12. In North Dakota, it is favored for Biden there. Also, I don't agree with this. Pretty progressive state. I don't think that Biden would perform too, too well there, but I think uh, he'll still get about six delegates. And Democrats abroad, this is definitely going for Sanders. He has a large support base. And the Democrats that are in the military as well as other areas that are abroad for Democrats, um, I, I do think that uh, Sanders will do better here. And I think Gabbard will pick up about two delegates out of there. And that is all. So now it is going to be still a Biden lead with 842, 757 for Sanders and 4 for Gabbard. Um, for some of the states that are in currently, they're not all completely in. So I'm going to go through that. So California has about 63 remaining. Sanders has about a 10% lead in the voting over Biden. So I think that Sanders will go up to about 
223 to 173. I think Utah is pretty close still. It has about half of uh, the delegates remaining, and Sanders did very well here, so I think he's going to get about mm, 119 to, to 8 for Biden. Colorado, a very large lead for him there as well. He'll probably get about 38 delegates to 19 for Biden. Any others? Let me go through these. One in Tennessee. Mm, this will be close. It's favored to go to Biden, but I think it may go to Sanders. Minnesota's all in. South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia. It looks like everything's in. I'm just going to go through this one last time. Okay, that would be all of the oh wait, Democrats fraud and okay, so this is where I think it'll be once all the Super Tuesday delegates are counted, and the March tenth uh, primaries are in. That's almost half the delegates, so it would be eight eighty two for Biden, eight twenty one for Sanders, and four for Gabbard. So I think it, it's still pretty close for the primaries. I don't think it's going to be a blowout win for Biden, but I don't think that Sanders is going to like take the lead after March 10th. I think it'll narrow out with uh, Sanders picking up Washington, Idaho, North Dakota, and Michigan, and Biden picking up Missouri, uh, Mississippi. Is that is that all? I'm pretty sure. And then... Uh, also, Sanders picking up Democrats abroad. So, thank you for watching. Please go subscribe, like the video, as well as hit the notification bell. Check out the live stream coming up this Tuesday. Goodbye.